Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm in the kitchen cooking for the folks. We're going to have a delicious uh, barbecue baked bean casserole. It's one of our favorites. It's stuffed with hamburger and sausage and delicious vegetables and it's yummy. You can serve this with those cornmeal dumplings that I like to make on top of my chili. So just scroll through and my recipes and find the cornmeal dumpling recipes. And if not, maybe I'll go ahead and post that at the bottom of the recipe too. But you could make it with hot water cornbread or just a pan of cornbread or some rolls. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Anyway, I can't wait to get in there and cook for you. Um, we're hungry for something new. I made chicken and dumplings a couple days ago and we've been eating on it. I'm sorry I didn't film that. They're so good and I'll do that for you one day soon. I'm sure we'll have them many times this winter. Anyway, we had a nice Halloween yesterday. I sat out as tradition holds here at my mother's house with her and we had so much fun with all the little kids and all the adorable outfits. So anyway, thanks for being here and I'm going to get in here and start cooking. Let me show you how simple this is and so good. Okay, we just got two of those bigger cans, 28 ounces of baked beans and unsweetened and some mustard. I've got, I'm going to use this sweet mustard. I found it at the store yesterday. I'm going to make a charcuterie board for Thanksgiving and oh, that stuff is so good. But you can just use regular prepared mustard. I want to use some molasses and some of your favorite barbecue sauce. I was just in Tennessee, so I've got this Memphis barbecue sauce. I love Texas barbecue sauce the best. It's very vinegary and not sweet. This is very similar. You can have a big old chopped onion, some chopped bell pepper, any color, red, yellow, um, green. I had a small one, darn. I wish I had more, but that was it. If you're brave, you can put in a jalapeno, but I know most of you don't like jalapenos. I'm considering not putting this one in there because I don't want the parents to get bothered. But if I was home, for sure. A bunch of bacon, probably use most of this. I'm going to use about a half a pound of ground beef and a half, half a pound of pork sausage and some brown sugar. That's all there is to it. So let's get started making this yummy, yummy casserole. First thing you want to do is get you a heavy pan and you're going to cook your bacon. Let me get this all spread out. I like to take my clean kitchen shears and start cutting it up a little bit. I'm going to have to crumple it up later anyway. So let me get that done. Okay, look how good that's rendering down. So I'm going to add my vegetables. All these delicious onions. Got a lot of grease in the pan, but after I saute these vegetables, if I feel that I need to drain it, I will. But I do. Oh, I just spilled a bunch of my onions on the floor. Oh, you sure did. <laughs> oh, good. I think you're going, well, you've had this. I've made it for you before. Look, I cut up some more onions. I didn't use the ones off the floor. Okay, so I've got the fresh onions in the pan. I'm going to saute these till they're starting to brown. I have probably about 15, 20 minutes. Got the bacon and the bell peppers. I decided not to put the jalapeno in there. So I'm going to put some seasoning in there. and That might be spicy enough. Okay, these have cooked down. I'm going to say there's about two healthy tablespoons of bacon grease in there, so I'm leaving it in there. I love bacon grease. I'm going to film, and I've only got this one hand stirring and one holding the camera. So, Mother, would you mind adding, we've got a half a pound of hamburger lean, don't want any more fat, and half a pound of pork sausage. Would you mind putting that in the pan for me, Mama? I'll be happy to. Thank you, Mama. If I get to eat it. You get to eat it. Don't you worry. <laughs> don't drop it on the floor like I did the onions. I would never do that. Sure. Only you can do that kind of stuff. <laughs> Apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> well. Thank you, dear lady. Yeah. Appreciate you. Up a little bit. What would I do without you? Okay, it's starting to brown. I want it to get really nice and brown, but I'm going to add some garlic about now. Three, four cloves of garlic, minced, of course. I'll just keep stirring until it's done. 
While your meat is browning, you want to add your um, seasoning salt. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of my favorite seasoning salt, Cajun seasoning. You can use Lowry's, whatever it is you like. You know I like a little bit of heat to mine. That's why I did not put the jalapeno in there, because I think the parents can handle that. Let's let this go. I want this meat nicely done. And it's getting there. It smells good. Stirring. And so now is the time to add our beans. Feel free to drain any bacon grease if you want. I'm not going to. I like it. I think it flavors the beans nicely. It's just all a matter of taste. Okay, stir those in, Mama. Plain old baked beans. You can use Bush's baked beans that have the sweetness in them already if you want. That's fine. You'll just have to reduce the amount of other sweet ingredients. I love calling the neighbors in. Okay, we're going to add about a fourth of a cup of some molasses. That is the best in baked beans. I don't care what they say. Now we're going to add about the same amount of your favorite barbecue sauce. There we go. Let's do about two tablespoons of your prepared mustard. I'm using a special deli mustard. You can use whatever mustard you like. No big deal. Give that a stir up, Mama. And then we're going to taste it, see if we need any brown sugar. Let me go get a tasting spoon. I think it needs a little bit more sugar, so let me add some more. I'm going to add some brown sugar. I've got about a fourth a cup of brown sugar. Add that in for me, Mother, please. I like my baked beans sweet. The cornbread's not going to be sweet, so this is going to be perfect. Hmm. Now I'm going to let that simmer for 15-20 minutes and then I'm going to pop it in the oven and we're going to cook it for about an hour. That's all there is to it and it just gets better the longer it cooks. Okay, while this is simmering on the stove top, I'm going to make us a batch of cornbread. Okay, so I'm going to put two, I'm making a double batch. So I've got two cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going to want four, uh, eight. Four would be for one serving. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teaspoons of baking powder. For a double batch, we're going to have two teaspoons of salt. And we're going to have two cups of cornmeal, just like we had two cups of flour. You know? Dose. Oh, I had exactly two cups of that left, so that worked out good. And we're going to mix that up. Real good. Cornbread is so easy to make. I've made hundreds of batches over the years. And I don't think this recipe is one I could ever forget. Okay, there we go. Mom thinks I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add two cups of milk. One per batch. One. Right in the center. I made a little well. Two. And a half a cup of oil. So it's a fourth a cup for each. And two beaten eggs. Here's your two beaten eggs. And I'm just going to mix it all up real good. I've got my cast iron skillet. Just sprayed it with some oil. And I've got it in the 350 oven, heating up and getting nice and hot. We'll pour it right in there and it'll make the cornbread real golden and real crispy on the bottom. Just get that just mixed. Everything's blended real well. You can add sugar or not. Those are sweet beans, so we are not adding sugar. That would just be entirely too much. Okay, that looks good. Pop this in the oven. Okay, let me get that in the oven, Mama. And she goes. That's going to go for about... 40 minutes. 
Thank you. <laughs> I look at the dark color these have turned simmering on the stove. So I think it's time to, I covered them for about the last 15 minutes because I didn't want to lose all that juice. Mm. Now I'm going to pop it. Good, Mama? Mm -hmm. Mom just gave it a taste test. Another taste test. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the oven for about an hour. Cornbread will be done in about 40 yeah, minutes. Good, Mom. So they're both in the oven, and I'm going to leave the lid off of the beans. Those beans are cooking good. Cornbread's getting there, not quite. Mm. Okay, look at that beautiful cornbread, nice and golden on top. And the beans are probably done, and let me check them. And give it a little stir. Mm, yes, perfect thickness. Now all there is to do is get to tasting. I'm going to serve some up. Delicious. I tried them. I once snuck a spoonful. You of them. did? And they're wonderful. I know it. Better than I always made them. Well, that's because they're full of all different kind of meats, so that it's a meal mm, in itself. So good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could eat a bowl. Okay, doesn't that look wonderful? And I've got this zucchini chutney that my friend made over there in Gary, Texas. It's zucchini relish. I just can't stay away from it. Got to have a dab. Okay, I'm going in. Let's eat. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. The hamburger and sausage. Mmm. With that cornbread. Oh, it's good. The barbecue sauce. I think you're going to love this. It's a wonderful, wonderful meal. Mmm. Yep, i got to have this at least once a month. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do here at the house. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. It was so good to be in the kitchen with you again. Toodaloo!